Drone. What's up, Droners? I'm on a boat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself there. I wanna to talk to you guys today about what it takes to fly from a boat. So I'm here in the Philippines to show you exactly how to do that. Number one, make sure that you are coordinating with the captain of the boat. That is really important because you don't wanna leave the drone anywhere like in the ocean or whatever body of water you're in. So make sure you're coordinating with the person driving the boat as you're driving the drone. That is crucial. Number two, make sure that the person controlling the boat stops the boat for you to take off and land. At the very least, get them to go really slow. It's a lot easier and safer for you and everyone on board to make sure that the boat is going as little and moving as little as possible. Trust me on this, when you're taking off and landing, it's difficult enough as it is. If the boat's moving, I promise you it's going to be an issue. So make sure, like number one, you coordinate with the captain and you stop the boat. Number three, I always have a spotter with me it's because landing on a boat alone is hard enough as a pilot and it's hard enough for your drone to do. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right, so when you're taking off, either you're gonna be taking off from the front of the boat or the back of the boat. Depends on where you have the most open area. On this boat, we have the most open area on the front. So I'm gonna take off from the front. It's a lot easier to take off from the front only if you can stop the boat because obviously boats normally move forward. So if the boat is moving forward, you don't want to be taking off from the front. You always want to make sure that your spotter is holding the drone up and as far away from their face as possible. Obviously, you don't want to scratch them in the face. And as well, you don't want to hit the boat. You don't want to hit anything. So you want to get it as far away from anything, including the person and the boat. You are going to have that person hold the drone as high as they can above their head and shake their head yes, that they are ready for you to take off. And when you take off, what you do is you point the nose of the drone away from the boat. You're going to up throttle and you're going to push forward. You're going up and forward so that it gets away from the boat, it gets away from you and it stays safe. You have officially taken off. Good work. Tip for the spotters. Like I said, always hold it as far away from your face as you can and hold it loosely until you feel the thrust trying to pull away from your hands and then just let it go. Don't push it. Don't grab it, don't spin it. The drone can take care of itself. Once you are in the air, it is very important to have your spotter watching the drone for you. You should be watching the drone as well, but you may be looking at your screen to see what kind of footage and cinematography you're going for. But you need to make sure that you have a direct line of vision to your drone at all times. If you lose your drone, you are in big trouble on a boat because you cannot return to home. The return to home will take you to wherever you took off in the first place, and that will be wherever the boat was when you took off. You will not be there anymore after you take off, so it will land itself into the water. So you keep a good eye line of sight. That's why a spotter is your best friend, and they have to keep their eye on it so that you can get the pretty shots and not worry about losing your drone. If you're gonna do anything that is slightly risky with the drone, do it with as little risk as possible. So make sure that you have a, a completely full battery before you take off. Make sure you calibrate the IMU. If you've been having any issues with the blades or the drone or anything whatsoever, if there's a lot of wind, if there's rain, if the waves are too high, if the boat's being moved around, don't fly. It's not worth losing your drone or hurting somebody. Only do this in conditions like this, where you have literally no wind almost, and the water is pretty much flat. This is when it's perfect time to fly a drone off of a boat. One other thing is make sure you do not fly within 10 feet of the water. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but water moves, and you don't want the water to hit the drone at all, because you may lose it. And I may or may not have learned that the hard way, but I will say it is not even close to worth getting a close to water shot. Not worth it. Stay at least 10 feet above the water. After you've done all your pretty tricks and you've flown all the things you wanna fly and gotten some parallax moves and cool things of your boat, you need to make sure that you land safely. Coordinate once again with your boat captain. Your boat captain is your best friend outside of your spotter when you're flying from a boat. You're going to want your boat captain to stop the boat and you are going to land the drone into your spotter's hands again. If you're going it from the nose of the boat or from the front of the boat, you are going to face the camera away from the boat you are going to drop the altitude to probably about three to five feet above the spotter's head, and you're gonna slowly back it into their hands and then drop into their hands. If you're coming from the front of the boat, the boat might do the work for you. Be very aware of what the boat is doing. If the boat is still moving forward, then let the boat do the movement for you. When they do catch it, it's very important you're communicating with your spotter. Spotters, when you are shaking your head yes, you only do that after you have firm control of the drone. After you know for a fact you have it tightly, you're not moving it around, you got it. It's going nowhere. Then you're shaking your head so that your pilot, at this point, knows they can power down the drone. There you have it. That is how to fly from a boat. That's how we do it. Make sure, like I said, that you do everything as safely as possible if you're going to do it. I am not recommending that you do this. I'm just showing you something that I like to do. And if you want to try to do it, that is on you to do. I'm not liable for you. So have fun with it, guys. Be safe. And as always, 
stay black.